Greetings friends. Watch Refrigeration News for Monday, July 12, 2021 on our channel. The heating and cooling sector's contribution to energy efficiency and the EU's climate neutrality goals. ACO Group presented Temperature and Humidity Sensor System ACO Data IoT. Start a launch free energy consumption calculator app at 40th TCS and D Show. Era backs further action on high GWP refrigerants. So, first news today. The heating and cooling sector's contribution to energy efficiency and the EU's climate neutrality goals. In view of the 2030 Climate Target Plan and the goal of climate neutrality to be reached by 2050, the 2030 energy efficiency target of 32.5% is obsolete. APE calls for binding 2030 EU energy efficiency target of at least 40% to reach the cost-effective energy efficiency potential and maximize the environmental, social and economic benefits of the energy transition. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. ACO Group presented Temperature and Humidity Sensor System Ecodata IoT. ACO Group offers to the market an innovative solution focused directly on improving the conservation of stored products, improving energy efficiency, and reducing operational costs in the management of assets, ACODATA IoT. ACODATA IoT is a three-tier solution. Robust and accurate temperature and humidity sensor system. A cloud platform that manages the information obtained through the sensor system, which presents us with conclusions and signs of improvement, through a powerful but intuitive report generator. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. Start a launch free energy consumption calculator app at 40th TCS and AMP, D Show. Star Refrigeration will deliver presentations and showcase a brand new app for TCS and AMP, D attendees in September. The UK's only dedicated cold chain conference is taking place at the East of England Arena on 7 and September 8, 2021, and Star Refrigeration will be traveling to the show in Peterborough to celebrate its 40th anniversary. Star will be exhibiting at Stand C20, where refrigeration engineering experts will be able to advise of how to reduce energy consumption, cut greenhouse gas emissions and showcase its range of carbon dioxide and low-charge ammonia chillers and freezers. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Era backs further action on high GWP refrigerants. Era has backed a federal government proposal to ban the import and manufacture of small air conditioners with high GWP refrigerants, and called for similar actions in other classes of equipment. The ban on small air conditioners with high GWP refrigerants would complete the transition already well underway, from our 410A to our 32 and other low GWP refrigerants such as propane. ERA has proposed that similar arrangements could be made for refrigeration equipment that uses our 404A. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Follow Refrigeration News on social networks. Please find the links below.